how to set up and build a custom kernel for the Google Pixel XL. What we're going to use is my uh, source, and we're going to be using a tool chain from Matthew Alex. So before I start, I want to give a little big shout out to The Flash, Lazy Flasher, Freak07, and Dory Manix. They were pretty much instrumental in helping me get my first kernel uh, built. And this is probably after uh, maybe two or three weeks. And I, I still have a lot to learn, but I'm, I'm getting there. So I wanted to share the process that I used to get mine working. So we're going to be doing this on a completely clean install of Ubuntu 17.04. And nothing's been done. So here are the commands that we're going to use, and we're going to go over them one step at a time. And uh, so you can follow along, and this is really the easiest way to do this. So first we're going to start with dependencies so that we can have all of the tools that we need to get stuff built and run. So over here, we're going to start in Terminal. Make sure you're at uh, your root here. Paste. Put in your password because you're using sudo. Let this go. Okay. So I don't need to be in here anymore. So now that we've done that, next part is we're going to copy everything into bash rc. So what you're going to want to do is in the same window, sudo gedit bash rc and you should see something in the file if you open it in another location you won't see anything now you definitely want this one come down here to the end add a couple spaces so you have some new lines copy in all of this and this will be in the comments section uh, in text format so if you're watching this video uh, in your build environment you can literally just copy and paste it out of the uh, comment section without having to pause the video and try and type it all in by hand. Okay, so quick explanation. What we're going to have here is kernel toolchain is going to be the folder where the chain's going. And this is going to be what contains it. Now, I may have to change that in a second, and I'll show you why. Uh, sorry for the quick edit, but we'll change this here in just a minute. So... Let me leave that open. So let's go into here, new folder, and we're going to call it down here where it says kernel toolchain. Okay. Now inside that, we're going to open up a terminal. Now we're going to leave this open because we still need that. We're actually going to call it this but I want it to uh, pull into this. So we're actually, we're, at, the, at the moment, we're going to copy this command completely, and we're going to have to go back and change this. And I'll show you how in just a second. But sorry, I was a little ill-prepared. Uh, I didn't think that through completely. But um, So here in the tool chain, the clone master for this one. Now, while that's cloning in, I'm going to go back here uh, at this one, and we're going to fix the bottom entry in bash rc here. So it's going to end up in a folder called arch64 linux android 4.9. What you need is to change toolchain 4.9 right here. Paste. Now, what I'm going to do, just so that you understand, when this clones in, I'm sorry, when this one clones in here, it's going to clone into this folder name. So I had it pointing to, obviously, toolchain 4.9. That would be wrong. It actually needs to go to that. I, I screwed that up a little bit. That's my bad. But uh, I'll have the corrected version down in the... Uh, comments section. So now this is all correct, <laughs> in case you really want to follow along. Looks like it's done already. Okay. 
So we'll exit out of that. Now this is correct. So it should be pointing to kernel toolchain, AR60, ARCH64, Linux, Android 4.9, bin. Just to test, we're going to open up, close that. Actually, no. We get back here, new terminal, CD, and this should take me to the folder if that path is correct. Cool. So we know it's right in case you have any questions. So now everything we have in here, and this is an ARM64 device, subarch is also an ARM64, and this is just the prefix for cross compile, so you can leave that alone. Let's save that. Get out of that. Don't worry about the errors. They don't really mean anything. Okay, so we've done the first two parts. Take that back. We've done the first three parts now that I've corrected it. So what we're going to do now is kill that. And a new folder here. We're going to call it oh, Cortex Kernel. Now in here, we're going to open up a new folder. Sorry if I'm going too fast for you. Um, downloading the source. This is my source uh, that I have currently working. I believe at the time of the video is version 1.1.4, I want to say. I'm pretty sure that's where I'm at. Uh, so what we're actually going to do is leave this open so you can see it up here. It's going to sync into here. This is all of my kernel source. It's about one gigabyte. And for the most part, it's going to take about, I want to say about seven minutes, but I'm not really sure. So how we're going to do this is time so that we get a, an idea. GIT clone and let it pull in. Okay. So this is where I'm going to pause the video and I will come back and we will leave off once it's done syncing in. And we're back. So you'll notice that I kind of redid the uh, command here and I added time to the front of it so we can see how long this will take. Just shy of seven minutes. Uh, notice my speed here was actually pretty decent. Um, I've tried to reduce the size of my source by yeah, I don't know. It might have been uh, 100 megabytes or so, something like that. So, all in all, it's not it's not too bad. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. But uh, okay, so since we have that, let's go ahead and exit out of that. All right. So what we have is kernel source. Now that you have the kernel source, we're actually going to do a build. Now for this, I am not going to uh, pause the video. I'm not going to split it or anything. You're going to watch it in real time. So I'll let you look real quick. We're going to do a make clean and make MR proper. Make Marlin death config. And then this uses all of the processor, uh, all of the cores on your processor. You could do dash J4, dash, you know, J6, J8. I mean, whatever you want, but just... Just leave it at this. It works best that way. So what we're going to do is, I forgot to show you, unless you were watching, <laughs> uh, inside the source, not out here, but actually inside the root of the source, open a new terminal. So, sorry, not one. So we're going to make clean, make MR proper. <clears throat> okay, make Marlin uh, def config. All right, don't worry about the two warnings, that's fine. And now, make all. I'm going to let this build, let you watch it. And when it's done, I will come back on.
All right, so we're back. It's completely finished. You know it's finished when you see these two down here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find the image piece that you want, which is located obviously in Arch ARM64 boot image. In this case, image GZ DTD. So go over here to the source, Arch, ARM64, boot, right here. Now, this, you can do what you want with it, but the easiest thing to do would be to package this inside of an any kernel to uh, universal kernel flash or zip by osmosis, uh, also on XDA. Uh, that'll make it flashable in uh, recovery. It's much easier that way. Uh, you can work with it any way you want, but this is definitely the easiest way to do it. Um, I'll make probably another video on that some other time, but uh, if you've gotten this far and you've got, in this case, roughly 18 meg, then congratulations, you've built the kernel and you've done it all. So all that's left that you want to do is make changes to source, anything in here, uh, as long as you know what you're doing, obviously there's always the risk of damaging your, uh, your device. So I, I do caution you be careful, but you know, if you want to learn, this is definitely the way to do it. Uh, if you need more help, go hit up people on XDA, um, especially the Flash, uh, Lazy Flasher, Freak 07, and Dory Manix. Um, they were a huge help. Uh, I've used a guide, uh, actually part of a guide from both the Flash and Lazy Flasher uh, to help make this. Freak07 is where I pulled a lot of my commits, uh, and Dory Mannix, I've pulled some other things as well. So if you want to check out my kernel source alone, it is this right here, GTHub Chevy Cam 94 Marlin kernel. We'll open this up really quick here. So here, <laughs> other than all the reverts I did because I on me, I screwed something up. Don't worry about all that. <clears throat> but uh, this is all the work. You can see all the individual pieces that have gone into it. Uh, you know, this isn't something I'm going to cover specifically, but you know, have at it. Have a look. Compile it. Uh, if you feel like you want to, you have something that's built. You want to flash it and see how it runs. By all means, go for it. If you'd like to release something, just, just give me credit, and uh, I'll be good to go. So, that's pretty much it. I will leave you with this. Hit uh, like and subscribe. The more you watch, the more I'm motivated to continue making more videos. If you'd like to see something else, uh, you know, something maybe you'd, you'd like a guide on, or you have questions about how to set up, Go ahead and let me know in the comments, and I will see what I can do about that. For now, have a good one.